And a bill unanimously passed through the Texas Senate is aimed at better preparing schools for the worst. News 4 San Antonio's Jordan Elder here now to break down the changes you could see. Jordan. Robert, the recommendations in this bill come from a Senate committee that formed right after the tragedy in Uvalde. Some say it's a step in the right, right direction, but for others, it's ignoring what they say the real issue is, guns. And it's nice when everyone comes together and it's 31 to nothing. Thank you, congratulations, the bill passes. And with that, Senate Bill 11 will head to the Texas House. It brings massive changes to active shooter protocols in schools. It creates a special office within the TEA that can monitor and enforce school safety regulations. It also requires all school district police officers to go through the advanced law enforcement rapid response training. Police, police, police. Something parents say they support. This is a must for us parents to feel safe and for our kids to be safe. Between 2017 and 2020, two thirds of school districts that reported they had an active shooter policy actually didn't. That's according to the Texas School Safety Center. Just 200 districts had viable plans. Lawmakers say that's why this bill is so important. And if you don't have a safe environment, then you really can't learn, and we really need that learning environment for all these kids that are behind currently. Rebecca Belmetero represents our area on the State Board of Education. She says some parts of the bill will improve safety in local districts. This is not something that has been high on their radar because they're busy teaching the students, uh, dealing with troubled students who are in the school system. But she would also like to see bills passed for mental health support and keeping people under 21 from buying semi-automatic weapons. It's an illusion to think that the good guys with the guns are going to solve the problem. Uh